Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to place your entire party on a map with just two clicks. So when all is said and done, you're going to be able to just right click on your map and say place party. And that will put all of your character's tokens onto the map for you automatically. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. Now one thing to know is that while this feature does not require the API or mods, it is only available in Jumpgate games. So how do you know if your game is Jumpgate? Well, there's a Jumpgate badge for it right there. So this game is Jumpgate, this one is not. There you go. And a change that's coming in November of 2025 is that all newly created games will be Jumpgate by default. At that time, there will no longer be a Jumpgate label applied to the games like I just showed. What will happen instead is games that are not Jumpgate will be labeled Legacy. So, what I'm about to show you will not work with Legacy games. They have to be Jumpgate based games. So with that established, I'm going to go into my game, and the first thing I'm going to suggest you do is create a token page in your game if you don't have one already. A lot of pre-built modules include one, which is great, just use that. If you're building your own game, then just set up a page called token page, and what you're going to do is use this page to spec out all your tokens. You'll do all the bar linking, set up all the artwork, do all that stuff here. And then when you've got your characters all set up, all you need to do is select them and then right click and say define party. And what this does is sets these four characters to be in your party. So now when we go back to one of our maps, we can just right click on the map and say place party. And that puts our characters onto the map for us. And that's it. And this is great now because it not only speeds up your prep time because you're not having to drag your characters out from the journal onto the map every time, but it also really comes in handy in those moments when you set up all these maps and then you realize at game time, shoot, I forgot to put the party on the map. Now this just pops them on with two quick clicks. Now, a couple of other things to know about this. It's really easy to redefine your party. So should you have a new character come along, like let's say that Hector here is no longer part of my party. Maybe his story came to an abrupt and tragic end, and I can drag out a new character here called Rook. Let's put him onto the map. And now I can just select my party again and redefine them. And that's going to take Hector out of the party and put Rook into it. And if so, if I just click over here in the white space and say, place party, there we go. Now we have Rook, Eevee, Lenta, and Mo, rather than having Hector be part of it. So very easy to redefine the party once you've created it. Now you'll notice over here in the journal that several of my characters are now marked with stars. This is what indicates that a character is part of the party. So it's easy to kind of skim this and know who's in there. But what's even easier is if you click in the search box here and actually type the word party, then it filters the journal down to only show those characters that are part of your party. So just a nice little quality of life thing there to help speed up searching through the journal should you need to. Now there is one other way to add a character into the party. If we go into Galvin's character sheet here and then click edit, there is this party member checkbox right here. We can just tick that save changes and now you'll see that Galvin has a star next to his name and if I place the party again now Galvin's in there too and then just one final thing to mention about this if you as the game master have a character sheet filled with macros that you often put out on a map to use during gameplay like for right now here I have this director sheet I have this set up to include a bunch of helpful utilities that I as the GM use I can make that part of the party as well. So if I select all these and then define the party, now when I go to a new map and I place the party, it's going to put in my special helper token too, so I don't need to remember to bring that out onto the battlefield every time. And then I can just tuck that aside and have it ready for myself when the game actually starts. Two clicks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, happy gaming.